The questions in the next two pages are about addition with and without regrouping. For this question, we have to add two digit numbers that do not need to regroup. So over here, we have rearranged the digits 0, 2, 3, 5, 7, and 9 over here to form two four digit numbers that do not regroup when adding them we have to find digits that do not make 10 or more so in this case 7 and 0 is less than 10 5 and 5 tens and 2 tens 7 tens 300 and 500 800 2000 and 7000 9000 similarly for this example over here 9 ones and 0 ones 7 tens and 2 tens five hundreds and three hundreds, three thousands and five thousands. For this question here, we have to find two four digit numbers where you need to regroup. In this case, we have to find digits that add to 10 or more. So for the ones, four ones and two ones, four ones and eight ones, we have 12 ones, six tens and six tens, plus one more ten, eight hundreds, four hundreds, and one more hundred, nine thousands, one thousand, and one more thousand. So the answer is eleven thousand three hundred and thirty-two. Students need to understand situations that require regrouping and switch situations that do not. In this first example over here, this question does not require regrouping. So five and four will make nine. 6 tens and 2 tens will make 8 tens. Example 2 over here, this question requires regrouping. So 8 ones and 5 ones will give you 13 ones. 1 ten, 8 tens and 1 more 10 will give you 10 tens. So since we have 1 one tenth already over here, we need to add a 4, ten, four tens over here so that 1 ten, 4 tens and 6 tens make 11 tens and we have our one over here for question three we have to find the page numbers so for page a it is even number and the sum is seven so one example could be 232 where the sum is seven and it is even so if the if the page number for page a is 232 page b has to be one more which is 233 so let's check is the sum of 2 and 3 and 3, 8? Yes. Is it an odd number? Yes. These are some very helpful questions here on number sense. So find two numbers where the sum is 100. There are obviously a lot of options. So we can have 55 and 45. Find a sum, find three numbers where the sum is 150. So first we can have 50 and 50 and 50 that will make 150. So let 50 remain the same. So in this case, we have one less from 50 and one more from 50. So 50, 49, and 51 will make 150. Question six, a student has four digits. So we have four, one, three, and the last digit over here is greater than each of the other digits, but it's less than the sum of these digits. The sum of four, one, and three is eight. So we have to find a number that is more than 3, 1, and 4, but it is less than the sum, which is 8. So one possible, so the greatest number would be 7. The answer is 7. So the questions, the answers for 7, 8, and 9 are pretty straightforward, and they are here.